Welcome to Gentle Yoga. This is Leo for Kristen Olsen's Urban Yoga Center. Visit us on the web at urbanyoga.org or on Facebook at Kristen Olsen's Urban Yoga Center to check out the schedule and make donations in the tip jar to support these online classes. We'll start today's practice in a reclined posture. You could be like this with the soles of your feet together and your knees splayed apart or plant the soles of your feet like your knees lean towards each other or just extend your legs, whichever is more comfortable for you. And if you want to close your eyes, rest your hands wherever you like on the ground or on your body and notice your breath. Simply by noticing, we invite our breath to get deeper and slower. Feeling your contact with the ground under you. Observing the movements of your breathing. Extend your awareness outward to take in your surroundings in whatever ways they're reaching your senses. Scan your body head to toe, taking in whatever is there to be noticed. Especially noting any issues you detect, stiffness, soreness, other discomfort, so that you can keep those parts of the body in mind during the practice, knowing that you're welcome to skip or modify any part of this practice. Before we begin to move around, let's take three deep clearing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth with a sigh. Hug your knees to your chest and gently rock side to side or roll in circles, massage your back against the ground. And let's just take a full, a few full body stretches. Inhale, extend your arms and legs, reach your hands away from your feet. Exhale, curl up and hug your knees again. And just follow your breath. Nice, slow breaths, nice, long, but gentle movements. Notice how the movement helps the air move in and out. At the end of your next exhale, hold your left knee with your right hand, extend your right leg down along the floor. And reach your left arm out to the side with your palm facing up. Letting your shoulders stay grounded, draw your knee to the right and turn your head to the left. Just letting your breath ring you out, not forcing the knee to go over further, but see if with the action of the breath, it wants to move some more. So your arm is like a guiding presence, not like a taskmaster. <laughs> Thank you. 
come back to center and switch legs. Draw the right knee in, hold it with your left hand, extend your left leg and your right arm. Then draw your knee to the left and turn your head to the right. Bring it all back to center. And we'll start to sit up. You can hug your knees and rock back and forth, or you can tip onto one side, press your hands to the floor and let your arms do all the work of sitting you up. And just sit in any way that's comfortable for you. I wanna see a message on my screen here. Do we have another friend joining us and I didn't hear the little sound? Sorry about that. There's a little chime supposed to go off. I think one of our friends needs a second device for audio today. Sorry, I left you hanging in the waiting room there. <laughs> Sitting nice and tall, nice long spine, but not being stiff or rigid. Resting your hands on your knees or thighs. Inhale, draw your heart forward and let your head go back. Exhale, draw your heart back, let your head tip forward and down. So a few more times at the pace of your breathing. Maybe those breaths and those movements grow a little bigger. And after the next exhale, sit up tall again. Let your arms hang loose at your sides. And raise your right shoulder towards your ear. Slide it back, let it down. And then your left shoulder up and back and down. Let your chin fall towards your chest. Nice and slowly roll your ear towards your shoulder and let your head to back, look up towards the sky. Continuing on over towards the other shoulder, back down through center. Nice and slowly. If you feel a tight spot anywhere, you might pause making circles to rock back and forth at the tight spots. Let's change the direction.
And when you finish the next circle, raise your chin and face forward. Reach out to the sides, just resting your fingertips on the floor, staying nice and long in the spine. Inhale, raise your right arm up alongside your ear. And as you exhale, reach to the left, lean into your left hand. Let your head go wherever your neck feels most comfortable. And then we'll come into a twist. Inhale, come upright. As you exhale, bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand to the floor behind you. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, see about twisting some more. Just as much as feels sufficient for your body, not forcing anything. Let your twist unwind. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, reach to the right, lean into your right hand. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come into your other twist. Inhale, find length. Exhale, explore the twist. Let your twist unwind. Take your time to make your way up onto your hands and knees. Reach your left foot back, press the ball of your foot against the floor. On an inhale, reach your right arm to the side, parallel to the ground. On the next inhale, pick your left foot up, reach straight back so the leg is parallel to the ground. Bend your knee, reach your hand back, see if you can take hold of your foot or ankle or pant leg. Raise your knee, raise your chin. Release, let your knee and your hand down. Reach back, press into the ball of your right foot. On an inhale, reach your left arm to the side. On an inhale, pick your foot up, reach straight back. Bend your knee and reach back and see about that bind. Release and lower down. Let's do some stretching for hands and feet. Curl your toes under, walk your hands in towards your knees. You come up standing on your knees. And then we're gonna sit back towards our heels. This creates a lot of sensation in your feet. So you decide how much sensation by how low you sit. I like to go way back. This is what feels good to me, but if that's too much for you, just bring yourself up to the height that's right. And if you have a block or bolster, you might put something between your butt and your heels. So that's the feet stretching and you can change the height anytime. Now for the hands, raise your left arm in front of you with your palm up and we'll do one breath for each finger. So take hold of your pinky 
Inhale, gently draw it forward. Exhale, gently draw it down. Ring finger, inhale. Exhale. Middle. Index. And thumb. And then we switch hands, right palm up, inhale, exhale. Feels so good in the wrist and forearm. And then after that second thumb, the best part is the counter pose. Tip forward onto your hands, untuck your toes, and tap them on the ground. Now we're on concrete out here. Usually I bang my feet harder than this. <laughs> it's an invigorating counter pose. Feels very good on the feet. I swear I could just keep doing it. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's step the left foot up between the hands. It's all right if it takes more than one step. It's all right if your hand helps your leg to step your right foot up next to it and hang out here, swaying back and forth, soft knees, lengthening one leg as you bend the other, heavy head, heavy arms. Inhale, lift up halfway, press your hands to your shins. Feel the crown of your head drop forward away from your tailbone. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, <clears throat> excuse me, inhale all the way up to standing, hands overhead. Pop. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Better have a sip of water for that dry throat. Inhale, reach out to the sides. As you exhale, you can reach for your shoulder blades and hug yourself. Or if it's in your practice, you can take eagle arms, intertwine your arms, press your hands together. And then if you're in eagle, you can reach your elbows and hands forward and up. Inhale, open up, and as you exhale, cross the opposite way. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist to the left. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, out and up. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms up. Reach your palms up. Look up at your hands. Lift your heart. And maybe your hips drift forward, depending on how your back feels this morning. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, bend to the left. Feel the leg through both arms. Try to keep that right heel on the floor. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bend to your right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. 
We'll start into some sun salutations and work in some lunges. Inhale out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor, elbows in towards the body as you come down. Press into your hands, inhale, lift your head and chest to whatever height feels okay in your lower back. Exhale, rock back and up to downward dog. And pedal for a few breaths, stretching out the back of your body. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Rest your fingertips on the floor or on your blocks if you have blocks and you want to use those. Step your right foot back to runner's lunge. Now to make this gentler and stabler, if you want, you can let your right knee down and then tuck your right toes. Otherwise, you can keep that right leg extended like this. And you can change your mind anytime. Bring your hands to your left knee, use your arms to lift your torso upright, shoulders above hips. And maybe once you stand up, then you decide to let your knee down. Be gentle if you do. Raise your arms. You can always have the left hand on your knee for steadiness or hands on your hips if you need. Exhale, sink forward, lower your arms. Inhale, glide back and raise your arms. Whatever degree of movement feels good in your hips and legs. And from the top of this movement, let's twist. Reach your right hand back and your left hand forward or your left hand can come to your knee for steadiness. Come back through center and then twist to the left. Come back through center. Hands by your heart, let's just take a big step forward here. And I'll take a drink. <laughs> and we'll do that again the other way around. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down. Now step the left foot back. And if you want, you can let the knee down. Bring your hands to the right knee, lift your torso. Raise one or both arms. Exhale, sink forward, arms down. Inhale, glide back, arms up. And let's twist to the left.
come through center and twist to the right. Come through center, big push off the left foot, step forward. Now let's play with some warrior poses. Step your right foot back, plant it at about a 45 degree angle. You can bend the left knee. So if you're on a mat, your feet can be by the edges of the mat. If you're not on a mat, feet wider than the shoulders. Feel for grounding in the outer edge of your right foot and the ball of your left foot. Take a look at your left knee and just see that it's pointed in the same direction as your toes. Raise your arms, let your shoulders relax down a little and turn your pinkies in towards each other, warrior one. Draw your elbows down to your ribs and lower your forearms parallel to the ground. Keeping your elbows in, inhale, slide your hands apart, exhale, slide them in front again. A few more times, inhale, and exhale. Working muscles in the mid back and shoulders. Now bring your hands to your hips. We'll transition from warrior one to warrior two. Pivot your right foot open so it's perpendicular to your left foot and scoot it back so it's in line behind your left foot. Then square your shoulders above your hips. Reach your arms to the sides, palms down, and look over the left fingertips. Now let's just do some arm rotation. Inhale, turn your palms to the sky and then exhale, turn them the other way. And if it helps you get more rotation, you can bend your elbows, let your shoulders move some more. And then let's just turn the front palm up and we're gonna reverse warrior. So inhale, tip back and reach up. Look up at that top hand. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward. Let this front arm rest lightly on your thigh and let the other arm reach up alongside your head. There's like a long line between the top hand and the back foot. Side angle pose. First dancing warrior will float between reverse warrior that we just did and this one side angle. Inhale, tip back, reach up. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward and just follow your own breath. Do that a few more times. And from your next side angle, let's inhale back up to warrior two with the arms parallel to the ground. And then we're gonna dance between this and gentle warrior. Inhale, straighten the front leg, raise your arms, turn your head. Exhale, lower your arms, bend your knee, turn your head back. So the feet stay where they are. And you just lengthen and bend that leg as you raise your arms up and down, letting the head swivel. 90 degrees back and forth. And then pause at the next warrior two. We'll set up for triangle, the last pose for the sequence. Straighten the front leg most of the way. Scoot the back hip back. 
slide the right, the, sorry, the front hand forward <laughs> and tip, let your front hand drop and your back hand lift. Triangle pose, big deep breaths. Bring the top hand to the back hip. Inhale, reach the lower hand forward and stand. Bring that hand to your hip. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot and take a big step forward. And I'll take a big drink. So other way around now. Warrior one, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Front knee bent. Arms up, shoulders down a bit, pinkies in towards each other, arms facing back. Elbows to your rib cage, forearms parallel to the ground. Keeping elbows in, inhale, slide your hands to the sides, exhale, slide them to the front. Bring your hands to your hips, pivot the back foot open, slide of the mind behind the front foot, square your shoulders above your hips, arms out to the sides, and look over the front hand. And turn yourself around. You already did that side. Face the pool. Yeah. I have a friend joining live here, here with me. I was giving a little more direction to just explain to the folks on Zoom and YouTube what that aside was. <laughs> Inhale, turn palms up. Exhale, turn palms down. A few more times. I haven't done a hybrid class in a long time. <laughs> Someone in the same physical space. Other than Yanni who's sometimes on camera, but begged off today because of sore knee. She may or may not wander into frame. She's got her phone out, taking photos or video right now. <laughs> now turn just the front palm up. Keep the lower body about how it is. Inhale, tip back and reach up, reverse warrior. Exhale, tip forward. Reach forward, side angle, front arm, lightly on the thigh, back arm, reaching up alongside the head. And let's dance, inhale, reverse, tip back, reach up. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward. From the next side angle, let's come back up to warrior two and do our other dance to gentle warrior. Inhale, glide up. And exhale, glide down. And from the next warrior two, straighten the front leg most of the way, scoot the back hip back, slide the front hand forward, tip to find your triangle, stack your hands, stack your shoulders, take some deep breaths.
Bring the back hand to your hip. Inhale, reach the front hand forward and stand. Bring the front hand to your hip. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot. And take a big step forward. Now we'll play with some balances next. If you want to step over by the wall or some furniture or a column, we've got columns like we do. You can use that support when you play with maybe standing on one foot. You can have both hands at your heart or one hand on your heart, one hand on your support. Pick something at eye level to look at, preferably something stationary and shift your weight from one leg to the other. Let the weight come into your right leg. Don't lock the knee, let it stay responsive like a nice shock absorber. Turn your left toes to the side so your feet are perpendicular, more or less. Bring your heel in and up onto your ankle. So this can be tree pose right here, or you can bring the sole of your foot to your calf or to your thigh if that's in your practice. Please don't press sideways on your knee. You can keep pressing your hands to center or explore any shapes or movements you want. The branches of your tree, you do whatever you want. Where does your body want to go? Sometimes it's fun to play with movement. Sometimes we like to aim at stillness. There's always some movement, there's always some breeze. If you close your eyes, you get a windstorm. You can start over anytime. Sometimes we decide to, sometimes we just fall. If your hands are elsewhere, you can bring them back to your heart. Pivot your knee forward and bet your foot down. Shake that right leg and anything else that wants some shaking. Hands back at your heart when you're ready or one hand on support, of course. Shift back and forth a few times. Reset yourself. When you're ready, let the weight come into your left leg. Remember to not lock the knee. Turn your right toes to the side and take your time. Bring the right heel in and up, whatever placement works for you here. It doesn't have to be the same as the other side. And you don't have to do the same thing with your hands and arms. You might do something else. I do this fine because it feels good in my back. I've been doing it, I think, every time since I first learned it. And I picked this up from a student. This wasn't something I picked up taking someone else's class. <laughs> this is what someone did with the cue, do what you want with your arms. And I tried it and it felt great. So thank you, Neil, wherever you are. This class couldn't be any more different than that class. It was like a 6 or 7 a.m. class in the basement of a school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Here we are poolside outside Chetamal. <laughs> if your hands are elsewhere, bring them to your heart. Pivot your knee forward. Set your foot down. Shake as needed. And I take a drink, I check the time and see it's time to sit down. Bring the soles of your feet together, leave a big space between your heels and your pelvis. And then you can either reach over your ankles or under your ankles and walk your hands forward on the floor. I'm gonna go over today and often go under. Let your neck relax and breathe into your back. 
And you can keep your arms engaged and keep tractioning forward, or you can let your arms relax. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back and lift your torso. Keeping your feet together, bring your heels in closer to your pelvis, as close as you can without straining anything. Interlace your fingers, hold your toes in your hands. Wriggle to shift the bones in your seat closer to the ground. Just tilt your pelvis forward, opens your hips. Yes, and some of us like to do this. and Clap our butterfly wings, bounce the knees. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips with your spine, nice and long. And just see how far, how far forward your body wants to take that. And when there's no more tipping forward from the hips, let your spine round, let your head drop and breathe into your hips. And many folks like to sort of press the elbows or forearms down on the inside of the legs. You can do that if you want. Further opens the hips. Inhale, slowly sit up. Let your arms help your legs. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees. Like closing a book, nudge your knees up towards each other so the soles of your feet are on the floor. And then extend your legs forward and flex your feet back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. If your knees want to bend, let them bend. As you inhale, think of coming forward. Spine lengthening. As you exhale, think of lowering down. Maybe they're just thumb bends, but let it be about the action of the breath. Don't use your arms to yank yourself further down into the fold. Inhale, slowly walk your hands up the front of your legs. Sit yourself up. Let's do just one more fold. Use your arms to nudge your legs apart to whatever degree feels okay in your body. 
We're gonna fold from here. The different ways you might do this, you can walk your hands down your legs or rest your hands at center and walk them along the floor. If you have a block, you can have a block under your hands here. I don't have any blocks. I'm just gonna walk down my legs today. Some of us are in cold places <laughs> and cold's a relative term. Many places it's cooler this time of year and many have some degree of this seasonal affective disorder in the winter months. There's some degree of depression that goes on. Forward folds help alleviate depression. In addition to the physical benefits, <laughs> something energetic about folding forward helps with that stuff. Sending warm thoughts to our viewers in cold places. <laughs> Inhale, walk your hands back, let your arms help you lift your torso. Use your arms to nudge your legs back towards each other. Draw your knees up, plant your feet, and we're gonna come down onto our backs. I'm gonna reorient myself. So you're gonna come down onto your back with your feet hip width apart and your heels close to your butt. And we're gonna do bridge pose. If you have blocks, you could put a block between your knees on the middle position. Maintaining hip width for the knees as well. Helps keep ankles, knees, and hips lined up. Press into the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift your hips, knees draw forward towards the toes. If you want a deeper heart opener here, you can clasp your hands, reach your knuckles towards your heels and wriggle your shoulder blades towards each other. If you're taking that bind, release your hands. Exhale slowly, let your hips down. And just explore at your own pace, floating up and down for a minute. You can not only go as slowly as you like, you can go as high as you like, or keep it as low as you like. Pause where you like. Challenging yourself with additional breaths at the top or Resting with additional breaths at the bottom, maybe repeating the bind if you really enjoyed that. and make your next exhale be the last time. We'll lower down. Hug your knees to your chest. Explore rocking and rolling movements, massaging your back against the ground.
plant your right foot, heel close to your butt, cross your left ankle above your right knee. Reach your arms to the sides, palms up. Let your shoulders stay grounded. Let your legs fall to the right and turn your head to the left. Doesn't matter how far your legs go. Bring everything back to center. Cross your legs the opposite way. And twist the opposite way. Slowly come back to center, uncross your legs, bring your knees towards your chest, point your feet towards the sky, reach your hands up and grab wherever you like, your legs or your feet, then play with bending and straightening your limbs. Any movement that feels good for you is perfectly fine. We call this happy baby pose and think of it this way, there's no wrong way to play, right? I think the playfulness is its own benefit. We get in a little more stretching and we let legs and feet drain by inverting like this. Undoing cumulative effects of all the time we spend standing, sitting, walking. Stuff gets stuck in the legs and feet. When you've enjoyed enough inversion time, make your way to your final resting pose. It can be any posture where you're comfortable. It doesn't have to be the classic corpse pose. Extending legs forward, splaying feet out, letting your hands rest near your hips. Close your eyes if you want. If that's not comfortable, just get comfortable, whatever that looks like for you.
you can choose to focus on your breath, choose something else to focus on, or allow yourself the freedom to not focus. Maybe you unfocus, maybe focus comes and goes. Maybe you doze off, that's allowed. That's advanced practice, really. <laughs> Start to find some deeper breaths. And move around bit by bit. Take your time letting your movements gradually get bigger. Moving mindfully and gently. And when you're ready, sit yourself up. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for sharing practice today. The light within me sees and bows to that same light within each of you. Namaste. Hope no one was too startled by the sudden loud sound during Shavasana. There was a coconut bouncing off the corrugated metal roof. <laughs> it made me jump a little. <laughs> okay. I don't know how it sounded on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs>